What is up, my dudes? It is Mo Manifestation, day 17, I'm pretty sure. If my memory serves me correctly, I'm gonna mess up the day several times. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about alignment. Whenever you're researching manifestation, spirituality, all of those concepts, the term alignment comes up a lot, almost in reference to spiritual alignment only. And whether you're religious or not, whether you're spiritual or not, I think that it all boils down to one commonality. Don't don't think that it's like all oh, woo woo yeah, spiritual alignment. That's that's not what it's about. Just think about it this way. Um, everyone has a conscience, a conscience and an intuition. Both of those things speak to you subconsciously all the time, no matter what decisions you're making and are pushing you toward what I really think is your ideal self. If you made all of your choices according to what your intuition was telling you to, what your conscience was telling you to, you would go down the path toward your ideal self, your higher self. Now, it's really hard, it's really hard to practice following your intuition and listening to your conscience every single time you take an action. But it's something that you can practice. So, the first thing, if you know Jordan Peterson, if you don't know Jordan Peterson, I would definitely recommend you look him up. He's awesome. I love listening to his lectures and he is very insightful and motivational in general. One of the things that he recommends first is not as much to do specific things, but almost cutting out things in your life that don't match up with your ideals. Misalignment is basically that your actions do not match either your beliefs, they don't match your values, they don't match what you deeply want inside of your heart. You're taking action outside of what you really are or what you really want to be. Jordan recommends thinking about it this way. What thing, stop doing the things that you're doing that you know are wrong that you can actually stop doing. I know it sounds very simple and it sounds like, what? No, like, I, I probably don't do things that I know are wrong. No way, no way. When you really think about it, in in specific moments when somebody says something that doesn't settle well with you and your intuition speaks to you or your content speaks to you, how often do you suppress that voice and you don't act on it? Probably pretty often. Uh, how often do you say things that you might not really believe, you might not truly align with, just because you think it's expected of you? Probably happens. I think it happens to everybody. So, Jordan recommends stop doing the things you know that are wrong that you can actually stop doing. That's a good first start. Uh, and it also helps you by doing that. It helps you start listening more to your intuition and your conscience so that once you get past that stage, you can actually start listening to those voices and acting upon them. Okay, that's a bad alignment. Bye.